Welcome to Bourbon School. I'm Lauren. And I'm Brian. And today we are going to give a grade to Larceny Barrel Proof A124. We're a little late to the game here, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, stay tuned. All right. We'll see. Okay, B, so we have kind of a, a little bit of a history with Larceny. We did not mm -hmm. like the first bottle we tried. Yeah, that was... A while back, mm -hmm. it was like one of the first, remember. one of our first TikToks. Oh, what was? <laughs> yeah, and it got a lot of reviews, or it got a lot of views, but it also got a lot of hate because yeah. we said it was a bottle we regretted buying. I think it was, so it was definitely a twenty-two mm -hmm. batch, and I feel like it might have been the C nine twenty-two. And do you remember it was just hot? The Larceny is hot. I mean, yeah. they're they're high proof bottles, and I I mean at least the ones that we've tried, and mm -hmm. I think. If you're going so high with the proof and you're lacking that flavor, there's no nothing to back right. the the high proof. You're not gonna. I'm not gonna enjoy the bottle. Right. But and that is one I I went back and ate some crow on it because I said I kind of changed my mind on it mm -hmm. after a while. I felt like it. I don't know if it calmed down or it was just my palate. I had had more stuff, so mm -hmm. I was a little more able to appreciate it. But it did like the end of that bottle was a lot better than when okay. we drank it, it, it for sure. So this is the A124. I just got this, even though it's kind of like a, it's an older release. I mm -hmm. mean, it's from January, but um, one of our local shops just did one of their allocated. They send out a, a, an email, you put in your choices. And I, this was my first choice because I heard good things about it. I thought I would well, like to you, get one. And the first bottle grew on you, so yeah. why not give this one a chance? Absolutely. And, and just like so many people, we're talking about how much better this was than mm -hmm. the Elijah Craig A124. No. And um, so well, I was like, I don't oh, I want to get it again. <laughs> that was Fools! It was Maybe terrible. I should do a review of that for the channel. We did. Now of Larson. Oh, compare. Oh, verse. Oh, well, it's, well, well that, I'll tell you right now, no this comparison. wins. Yeah, this oh. wins. That A124 was terrible. Sorry. The I, ECBP. I, I remember that part. So a couple things about this. Obviously, it's Larceny. It comes from Heaven Hill. This is their weeded bourbon. Um, it's 68% corn, 20% wheat, 12% malted barley. It is 124.2 proof. It is six to eight years old, and it the retail is $65. I paid $69.99, oh, so I paid a Good. little bit more, but not, like it's a little local shop. I am happy to pay five yeah. bucks more, not a problem. $4 is not really a lot. No. I wouldn't consider four a lot no. to overpay. No, 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 no. I think it smells great. Like. Mm -hmm. There's not many bourbons I get a really nice nose off of. Most of the time it's like, oh, this smells like alcohol. Well, and it's certainly not 124.2. It's, it's that not burning a nice your smell. nose. And you get a lot of nice aromas other than just the ethanol, yeah. I think. It smells sweet. It smells mm -hmm. like caramely. Mm. It's nice. Okay. You already tasted it. I did. I tasted a, I tasted a little before we started. And I'm... Kind of acclimating to it. It's it drinks pretty hot. It does, but it's not um like a choking. Yeah, it's a nice it's a nice burn. It's not it, over the top. It's nowhere near that twenty two batch. I, and, and again, I'm not a hundred. I think it was the C nine twenty two, but it was one of the three twenty two batches, and it was just it blew out your palate. Yeah, this at least it's a little calmer. You get some flavor off of it. It's I, it's pretty sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet and hot. I think those are the really the yeah. main. You're not get, there isn't a lot of depth of flavor to it. I'm not getting a ton of notes. It's sweet and hot just like you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. But I don't think it has a lot of depth of flavor to yeah. it. Yeah. I get some of like that weeded character. Um, See, I was going to say I'm not getting it. I mean, it's sweet like a weeded bourbon is sweet. Yeah. But it doesn't have a lot like some with weeded I'm like softer. I think yeah. the proof is so high on this yeah. that I I don't think it tastes like a weeded to me. I feel like I get a little bit of it. Like a it, hint? It, mm -hmm. Yes. I do feel like there is some of that character to it, like that that like wheat bread kind of character to it. I don't know, and I said this before we started filming when we were tasting it, <coughs> mm -hmm. I don't know that this is a heck of a lot better than getting like a nice Rebel Pick, the cast strengths at 120 proof. I think it's very comparable. And those ones are 50 bucks, mm -hmm. you know, and this is 65 to 70. So I don't know that it's that much different. Mm -hmm. Like, cause people go crazy over this cause they put out three batches a year and people are yeah. starting to, it's kind of like the ECBP. They're now starting to like 
collect they want to get yeah. these as soon as they come out and stuff i don't know that this is way better than a rebel cast strength pick i uh i don't i think it's too expensive for the price i mean, I mean for the taste of for the what bottle, you're getting for yeah. what you're getting yeah like i i just don't think it's giving me enough flavor i i just get so much proof on it yeah well, and I'm getting, I don't know if, I mean, you may or may not, I am getting a weird, like, way after it's gone, I'm getting a weird metallic-y flavor on yeah. the back of my tongue. It's kind of giving, like, a little, like a like a little bit of a cotton mouth, too. Yeah? There's a little bit, yeah, it's got a, yeah, no, I, I, I don't love this bottle. I would probably give this a solid C. C? Mm. Because it's so proofy, you kind of expect yeah. that a little bit, but, like... And you expect that, you know, it's going to, at that proof, you're going to pay a little bit more. But I don't know. It's just, I'm trying to think of like a comparable bottle that's uh, like uh, around this proof that we really, really like. I, I that mean, has so much more flavor. No, I a think. A lot of bottles. <laughs> I think a maker's pick at 110 proof mm -hmm. or a maker's cast strength at 110 yeah. or 111 is probably, could go toe to toe with this and it's $25 cheaper. And the like the rebel cast strength pick cast strength picks at fifty dollars are better than this, I think. I wonder if they proofed it down, would it would it would it make a difference? Would you get more out of it maybe? I don't know, because normally we don't say that, but this is pretty high. I yeah. mean I'm just getting a lot of proof and not a lot of flavor. So yeah, I'd give this a C C minus. What about you? I'd give it like a B minus to a C plus. Okay. I think it, I, I do like it. I don't think it's a bad bottle. I just, and, and it's certainly not blowing out like my palate, like that earlier one did. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's tasty, but I don't think if, now that I've had it, I think if you had this on the shelf next to a Rebel Pick, I'd probably buy the Rebel Pick yeah. first. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right, well, they we can't, can't all be they, winners. I know, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> Well, guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell for notifications. So you never miss another episode of Bourbon School. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that was a good one. Beautiful clink. Did you look in the eyes? Mm-mm. Oh, dear Lord. We never do.